Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger is celebrating his birthday with his family. They've been camping all weekend for Daniel Tiger's birthday. We're going to celebrate with food and yummy treats. They have some nice white plates and some silver forks. a yummy pizza, and a yummy organic salad. Okay, there are four pieces of pizza. Everyone gets one piece. Baby Margaret, Daniel Tiger, Mom Tiger, and Dad Tiger. Now that they're done their lunch, it's time for dessert. It's cake time. Happy birthday to you. And there's also some yummy pudding. They finish their lunch off with freshly squeezed lemonade. There's only three glasses though. Hmm. There's one, two, three, Four in Daniel Tiger's family, we are missing one cup. And here it is. Now everyone has a glass. It's time for games. Mom Tiger has a wonderful suggestion. How about we play musical chairs? In musical chairs, we need to set up one less chair than the amount of people. So we have a total of one, two, three chairs. When the music stops, everyone sits down. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Music has stopped. Everyone find a chair as fast as possible. Oh dear, Dad Tiger did not find a chair. He is out of the game. Now there are three tigers left and we need to remove one chair. There's only two chairs left. Oops. Listen to the music. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Music has stopped. Mom Tiger gets a chair, and Daniel gets a chair. Sorry, baby Margaret, you're out of the game. You can go stand by Dad Tiger. There are two tigers left and one chair. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. The music has stopped. It's a race to the chair. And Daniel Tiger wins the game. Mwah! Mom Tiger gives him a kiss. Happy birthday, Daniel. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his friends are gonna have a look at all of our pets. Right now, Daniel Tiger spots our guppy. She's got beautiful colors and there's a striped fishy right above her. This is our algae eater. See how his mouth is cleaning the side of the tank? He loves to eat algae. There's our guppy again. The guppy moves very quickly. This is our bottom feeder. He works very hard to keep our tank clean at the bottom. And there's our zebra snails. They keep the tank clean too. Time to feed the fish. You never want to feed the fish too much food. It can make them very sick. So we only give them a tiny amount. Let's watch them eat. They should come to the top at any moment. 
and spot the food. Here's our little aquatic frog. It's time to feed him too, but he doesn't eat regular fish food. He needs to eat blood worms. So we're gonna feed him with a little spoon. We need to make sure he can see them and smell them before the fish come and grab them. Come up here, froggy. Oh, he spots them. Watch as he eats them. He's very quick to jump towards them and scoops them into his mouth. Oh, the owl and Katerina Kitty have spotted some other animals. Lions? Those aren't pets. This is our jungle scene. It's a mural in one of the bedrooms. There's a cheetah and butterflies, an orangutan, an elephant, and a look at his big tusks. What's down here? A rhinoceros. Let's go find a real pet. Kitty must be here. I see her white fur on the blanket. And she scratched the bunk bed with her claws just to get up top. Oh dear. Hi Kitty. There she is having a little rest. We just wanted to say hi and talk about our pets today. Kitty is beautiful white and brown coloring. Very similar to Katerina Kitty. See Kitty? You sort of look alike. And if you remember from other videos, this is our last pet, Puppy. He likes to sleep in his basket. and We fill it full of soft bedding. Say hi to Prince Wednesday and Miss Elena. Puppy has a pink and black nose. He is part silk hair terrier and chihuahua. And he's very soft. Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his family are visiting a garden with a beautiful tree house. We're also gonna visit a real garden. This tree house has a beautiful rainbow coming out the side. Baby Margaret loves to smell flowers. Mmm, the pink and white flower is so fragrant. Hey, look over there, I see a glass sculpture, says Daniel Tiger. Each sculpture is very unique and handmade with glass. Glass can be almost any color of the rainbow. What does this yellow sculpture look like to you? Daniel Tiger sees a little pond with a frog on a lily pad. There are even little glass sculptures on the mossy rocks and in the pond. Look closely and you might spot the whale tail. Do you see it? Hey, look over there, Dad. I see a fuzzy caterpillar. It's orange and black. They look exactly like the woolly bear caterpillars we have in our garden. Remember when all the caterpillars were on the Ninky Nonk train track? And the Ninky Nonk couldn't get by. Eventually, these caterpillars will turn into a tiger moth and fly away. We love exploring gardens in the outdoors. It's time to sign the guest book. We've really enjoyed our visit. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. 
Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel, Tiger, and friends are building Lego. Here comes Trolley. Special delivery from Trolley. Wow, look at all the Lego that Trolley has delivered. Let's dump it out and we can build a little house. So we need a base. Let's take the big green pieces and that can be the base of our house. There, our house is complete. Now we need a little yard. We'll add a fence, a flower, and a bush. Daniel Tiger's peeking through the door. Hey, where's Katarina Kitty? Honk, honk. Look, Katarina Kitty made her own little Lego girl's car. Vroom, vroom. She's back at the house. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. And please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger Neighborhood and friends are going to the beach and they're playing ball. Let's throw the ball in the water. Let's go Daniel find Daniel Tiger is a very strong swimmer. He swam out to the floaty ball. Good job, Daniel Tiger. Let's put it into shore. It's important to be a good swimmer. Oh boy, Daniel Tiger's gonna go down the water slide. One, two, three. Yay! And here's his ball. And now Daniel Tiger's friends are gonna go down the slide. One at a time. Yay! And the owl. Prince Wednesday. Now they're just gonna float in the water. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Baby Margaret is standing on a miniature blue pinata. Do you know what kind of animal it is? It's called a llama. Oh, lift here. Okay, baby Margaret, we're going to get you off and lift the little tab. Peekaboo! There is Daniel Tiger hiding inside the pinata. Surprise! We have lots of little surprises inside the little pinata, don't we, Daniel Tiger? We're going to have some fun learning today. Let's take out our first surprise. Oh, I feel something round. It's a bouncy ball in the shape of a pink ladybug. How many spots are on the ladybug? There are three on each side. Three plus three equals six. Let's reach inside and pull out another surprise. I think it's another bouncy ball. Yes, this time it is an orange ladybug and it has six spots just like the first one. The third ladybug is blue. I wonder how many more ladybugs are inside. There's the red ladybug. That's typically the color you see of the ladybugs outside on the plants. The fifth ladybug is yellow in color. And the sixth ladybug is green. Now I think that is all of the ladybugs from the pinata. One, two, three, four, five, six ladybug bouncy balls. Is there anything else inside the pinata? Yes, there is. It's an atomic bouncy ball. You never know where it's going to bounce because it's not completely round. It has little tiny bouncy balls all over it. Oops! 
Sorry, Daniel Tiger. Are you okay? He's okay. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Daniel Tiger and his family are on another adventure and they're going to ride in our pink Volkswagen Bug or Beetle. And there's a little booster seat for baby Margaret. And Daniel Tiger will sit beside her and mom and dad in the front. Before they go, mom, Tiger and Daniel make a snack together to take on the road. They're going to make rainbow fruit skewers. Daniel Tiger loves fruit. He saw it on a card in a game they played. Ooh, look at all of the pretty colors. What fruit do you see? I saw some raspberries, and I also saw some yummy blueberries. Tiny Treasures is helping me make a snack of fruit skewers today. First, we put on the raspberries. We also have the kiwi, apple, grapefruit, and orange. It looks just like the picture. We even added a blackberry to ours. Mm -mm. Now that we have our snack, let's hop in the car. We're off to the pond. And Daniel Tiger and his little sister are taking some nets. And we can catch some bugs and maybe we can even find some tadpoles. Oh, let's sit you up, Mom Tiger. Everyone buckle up, wear your seat belts. Off to the pond we go. Tiny Treasures Minnie is wearing some gumboots so we don't get our feet wet. And we have two beautiful metal nets. Look at all the rainbow colors. We dip our nets in the pond and see what we find. I brought a green bucket and put some water in it. And look, the kids have already caught a water bug. But we release it back into the water so it doesn't hurt any of the other creatures we catch. Because soon after, the kids catch their first tadpole. And a tadpole is a baby frog. Eventually it'll grow legs. A little while later, the kids find a huge water bug. It's gigantic, but it isn't alive. We don't know what happened to it. Let's see if it is alive. Let's see if it runs away in the water, right? We make sure we put back all of the bugs and creatures that we caught. Now it's time to head home after a nice afternoon. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're at the beach and I'm trying to find our toys. Oh, who's that, Tiny fans? It's Mom Tiger. That must mean the rest of our family is underneath the sand somewhere. Oh, I found someone else. Who's this? It's Daniel Tiger in his red coat. And little baby Margaret with a little flower in her hair. Which means we need to find one last figure. Dad Tiger. Today, Daniel and his family are going to have some yummy bubble tea, and it comes in many different flavors. Let's hop on our pink little people car.
we ordered pink strawberry bubble tea, and the lid came with a comic. It says three minutes after entering the store. Hello, may I take your order? Dude, you ready? Oh, I think I need another minute. Ten minutes after entering the store. Are you ready? I might need another minute. Fifteen minutes after entering the store. Are you ready? Dude, you okay? I... Can you come back in a couple of minutes? Too many choices. I need more time. Yes, there were many, many flavors of bubble tea. And what we love about bubble tea is that they have these little tapioca beads in the bottom and a big, humongous red straw. At first, we tried to peel the plastic off the top of the cup. But then we realized that the straw needed to be poked through the circle in the middle. Tiny Treasures Minnie had a green straw and Tiny Treasures had the red straw. We usually say no to straws since they can be a big problem in the environment. But we ended up taking these home and using them over and over again. The beads go up the straw. Let's have a look at a tapioca bead. You can chew on them and eat them. It was a special treat. Time to head home. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. We're off on another day to the ocean to explore the beaches. And we're here with Daniel Tiger. And the first thing we found was bull kelp. And it was all twisted and knotted. You can see how big it is compared to our little Daniel Tiger toy. Now the tide was low, which is why there were shells and kelp all over the beach. But we were also lucky to find sand dollars. Well, the center of this one was broken. And these sand dollars aren't alive. It's just the skeleton left over. It has a beautiful flower design on the front. And we can tell how old the sand dollar lived to by counting these rings on the back of the sand dollar. One, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This sand dollar wasn't too old from what I can tell. Oh my goodness, they are everywhere, tiny fans. And they're so fragile that we're lucky these ones aren't completely broken by the crashing waves. Let's count how old this one was. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight years old. They typically can live six to ten years old. Look at how many sand dollars the kids and I collected. All different sizes. Some are gray, some have brown spots on them. How many do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen sand dollars. And we collected a few and we're soaking them in water to clean them. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're in the kitchen with Daniel Tiger, his sister baby Margaret, who has been missing. And we finally found her hidden under a cabinet. And Mum Tiger. As you can see, they're all standing on chairs. They are toys. But in real life, it isn't safe to stand on a stool like this. Daniel Tiger could fall back and hit his head on the floor or something behind him. So please, Tiny fans, if you're baking with your parents, make sure that you have a stool that's safe enough to stand on. Wonder what they're baking today. They have a whisk and a blue bowl. And then to the side, there are measuring spoons. 
Whenever we bake, we always use our measuring tools. The biggest one is red, and this spoon is probably the tablespoon, and the second biggest would be this blue one, and I would guess that would be half a tablespoon, and then the two smaller ones would be probably a teaspoon, and the red one is half a teaspoon. And we always use measuring spoons when we are following a recipe. And speaking of recipes, Daniel Tiger has his own Cupcakes 100 Yummy Recipes book. Now it's important, before we start baking or cooking or eating, we always wash our hands with warm soapy water for 30 seconds. Another tool we'll need for baking is a measuring cup. You may have seen it in other baking videos of ours. We have one very similar to this, and you can see it's marked one cup, two cups, three cups, and four cups. As you know, our family loves to be in the kitchen baking and cooking, especially on rainy days when we're stuck inside, and the kids love to help out and get involved. Let's put Daniel Tiger's cupcakes in the oven, and as they're baking, we're going to show you what we've baked as a family in the last year. Every week we bake a loaf of organic bread. And I usually will add flaxseed and nutritional yeast to give it a little bit of a cheesy taste. Mmm. On the weekends, the kids will make the entire family spelt organic pancakes. Mmm, I love mine with syrup and blueberries. Thanks, kids. Once a week, we also make homemade pizza for dinner time. The kids love cheese pizza. I like pineapple and mushrooms on mine. Mmm, so tasty. At Christmas time, we decorate sugar cookies or shortbread. Tiny Treasures and I decided to try a new recipe this year, homemade pierogies. They were a lot more simple than we expected. They were so tasty. You cut out dough into a circle shape, and then you put a potato mixture in the middle. The potato mixture is basically mashed potatoes with cheese and garlic. Take a spoonful, put it on the dough, and then you fold the circle over top of the potato. Sometimes it needs to be stretched out. And then you seal the edge with your fingers. And that is what a pierogi looks like. After we're done building the pierogi, we put them under a towel so that the dough doesn't dry out. Our home works really hard to send the kids to school with yummy, healthy, and plastic trash free snacks. Every week we make chocolate chip oatmeal hemp seed flax seed cookies. We always double the batch so that we end up with 50 cookies in the end. After they come out of the oven they are warm and gooey. We need to let them cool before we can put them in our cookie jar. The kids always help with cleanup after. Tiny Treasures is cleaning our silver measuring spoons. And Daniel Tiger is putting the finishing touches on his cupcake decorations. He made two red cupcakes and two blue cupcakes which is four cupcakes altogether, one for each family member. What are you going to bake with your family? 
Okay, Tiny fans, there was an object sitting on the counter at the beginning of the video. Do you know what it was? It's not there anymore. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our channel, or as we say, our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we have a candy cup full of gummies and yummies. Let's open it up. Mmm, they smell so yummy. Let's pour them out. Hey, look, it's Daniel Tiger Neighborhood Crew. They want to check out the candy. Oh boy, look at this candy. It looks like teeth. Let's put two together. This one looks like a soda pop. There's even little gummy bears. Look how tiny they are. Look at these bears. They're holding hands. They're stuck together. There's even some little froggies. Pop. Hop, hop. Ew, stretchy, slimy wormies. Don't worry, they're just candy. Hey everyone, where did Daniel Tiger go? Let's have a closer look. Silly Daniel, you're hiding under the candies. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.